This is America's most advanced drilling bomb. It can penetrate concrete up to 60 meters underground. It's designed to strike at nuclear weapons projects in various countries. The GBU-57 is also known as the Bunker Buster. Its total weight is about 14 tons. It's usually dropped by a B-2 stealth bomber due to its size and weight. The bomber's bomb bay can only carry two. A bomb like this, the length of the bomb is about six meters. The diameter is about 80 centimeters. The casing is made of a hard, ancient alloy. It can withstand great impact. Among other things, the casing takes up more than 80% of the bomb's weight, although it's not equipped with rocket motors. But four active spacers and a precise guidance system allow it to utilize military-grade navigation to glide precisely to the target and then rely on its gravity, penetrating soil or concrete on the way down. Inside the bomb's casing are multiple components. The front is the fuse. There's a second fuse at the back. It delays the detonation. The fuse is connected to the rear fuse. It detonates the two tons of explosives. At the rear of the bomb is its guidance system. The guidance system controls the four grids in the tail. The guidance system uses internal electronics to control the four grills in the tail. It precisely adjusts the bomb's trajectory and guides the bomb to its intended target. It works like this. First, the B-2 bomber flies at a certain altitude. When the plane reaches a certain position and the conditions are right, it releases the bomb. And then, the bomb's GPS and inertial guidance are turned on. The bomb's trajectory is tracked by military satellites. The internal electronics use the guidance information. The internal electronics use the guidance information to adjust the tail grill, to correct the bomb's direction of descent. In order for the bomb to have enough time to adjust its trajectory, it must be dropped at a very high altitude when the bomb reaches its target. The 14-ton weight creates a tremendous impact, enabling it to penetrate 60 meters of concrete. Eventually, the bomb's fuse is triggered. It will detonate immediately and creates an explosion similar to a small earthquake. 